Hi there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka Bangladesh. Today I'll be reviewing a Brute Fragrance. I believe I reviewed uh, another version of this. That one was called also Brute Parfums Prestige. But I think this one is known as Brute for Men. Perhaps Brute Prestige. I am not, I'm not really sure. It's very confusing. There are so many versions of this. And I had this fragrance which I gave it away to someone before reviewing it. And also by chance bought a fake of this stuff long time back. I keep it next to each other like this next to this this one is called brute for men febrige okay uh, this one came in this kind of a box before but it uh, turned out this one is a fake someone told me long time back it's a fake one so i never really used it just kept it for some reason and i gave away the other one uh, which one uh, which was uh, like someone would wanted that you know someone wanted to use that brute you know so i gave him um, that one so this one i'll just show you why this is a fake and you have to be careful while buying these so if you find the febrige this one written here uh, always check on the bottle here i don't think my camera will pick but i'll try to show anyway if you see it will read um how do i show this okay to read u o de toilet here doorman if you see not foreman so d o r this is where you see it's fake and when you smell it it smells nice it doesn't smell really bad it smells like a kind of a nice little perfume i would not say it's very bad but it feels like very vintage smelling perfume but it's a fake okay so i'll keep it away and that one is very hard to find the original of but we focus on this one that can be found here it comes in this kind of a box transparent box uh when you take out the sticker it's very hard to keep it in there you have to keep a put put a tape like this to keep it intact it comes inside that the bottle be inside that like this looks very nice uh nothing fancy here but looks nice and i think sorry i think yeah it's supposed to be like this it comes like this okay the sticker is on top okay so the bottle will sit in there in that circular base there uh, okay i mean uh, it says what it does say what does it say man this is very hard to read wait uh natural spray or what messio spray i don't know lotion it's basically edt version just you spray these bottles are very iconic okay it has this kind of like a tag and chain it says brute for men uh, Brute Perfumes Prestige, Prestige Paris 1965. I uh, got this green bottle, got this tall cap. Definitely looks like something uh, like an aftershave from back in the time, you know, and UK or somewhere people would use these as a splash. I believe first edition of Brute, I saw one review, one gentleman who does shaving and all that. He showed the very first vintage which came as a splash. You just open it like this and you use a splash, no sprayer on that. The new versions, I reviewed the glass bottle that I think is very similar to this. Also, there is one that is like a plastic bottle, I think white. They also have a, after a lot of stuff. So that's what Brute for Men bottle looks like. And this one does say for men, okay, as you can tell, not doorman. Okay, 100 ml. Okay. Uh, and I think there's a back, it says some other information. The cap, it's kind of flimsy. Okay, it's very old school, like Charlie for Men, or Charlie fragrances. They have this kind of caps. Uh, if, you, if you really press hard, it will be deformed. Okay. So I have it on the paper for some time here the dry down and thanks to fragrance beauty for uh, sponsoring me with these blotters i really like them they give me as gift so let's show you the sprayer the atomizer looks like that it looks kind of ugly <laughs> uh, but it's cheap cologne okay sprayer is good really shoots out a lot good distribution this one doesn't click on to place but this one has a uh, good creep you can pick it up right so what do we get from brute prestige perfume or Brute Parfums Prestige or this particular version it's a it's a nostalgic fragrance nostalgic smell back in the days I used to use Gillette body sprays okay I used Wild Rain that one those who used it amazing smell I use Brute body uh, I think body spray yes the green one dark green one they also have a yellow blue green red different varieties now but this is the classy smell very masculine smell um, barbershop definitely it gets compared to many other fragrances but mostly the niche version of that one which nowadays is Booty Jour by Tom Ford okay that one uh, some of the other ones uh, they are there which you can see you know like Zeno Davidoff uh, it's similar to those but it has its own character this one has uh, let me remove that for a while Brute has opening of old school citrus nice little lemon definitely you get the lemon lavender opening a little bit of basil nice very nice very classy alluring and you will not feel this fragrance is worth 10 15 dollars okay and that's how much it goes for 
uh, nowadays i hear some people are selling this for 20 dollars in bangladesh so it depends 15 dollars i think is the tops that you pay for this very masculine very uplifting classy smell very nice luxurious smell has a little bit of alcohol up top uh, i must admit uh, but it goes away very quickly do not spray right and then right up and then smell it immediately give it some time for that alcohol to burn off after that you definitely start to get the lemon You've got that basil the green citrusy opening and it slowly starts going to that fujier barber shop lavender side and it's a lavender based perfume uh, i liked it a lot because i had this in my childhood you know like i stole that bottle from my dad someone gifted him that bottle long time back i became fond of it you know alongside my ex body sprays you know or wild uh, rain by gillette or spalding or spalding there's a red tin can of body sprays i use those follow me in malaysia uh, so denim it reminds me of all those days you know this is my childhood in a bottle you know this is what i get it for you know like the memories for the precious days i can go back to those days when i was, used to be a sports person very energetic it doesn't last all that much i get about two to three hours that's that's the longest i got from this so basically it acts like an not edt more like edc okay uh, do not overspray this stuff to get better performance you'll get a headache and it will bother your nose a lot with that uh, overbearing alcohol uh, i think ideal sprays two to three sprays great right after shaving you know if you just started shaving if you just are a person who's neat uh, you like a little bit of uh, masculinity uh, this perfume definitely it will pick you like no people will notice you wearing this obviously it's not all that um, unique at this point people will say oh you smell like something familiar my dad would wear okay or i smell this before it doesn't smell all that new so definitely it got this uh, aura about it you know it definitely feels rich it feels it has a history it has the whole years behind it so I love Brute for this, Brute for men, this one especially. They, all the versions are really nice. You can get the glass bottle, which I reviewed. I'll leave a link below. That one, it's a bit more better than this. That one, it's a little bit more clean. But this one, longevity is better than the glass bottle in my humble opinion. This is also glass, okay? But this one lasts like one hour more than that, okay? So if you really want to upgrade, get Tom Ford Boudi Jour. If you like this DNA all these years, you can get this. This one has many kind of lavender in it. I just love the quality of it. It's a little bit expensive, definitely. But the smell, my gosh, you know, this is so good. Um, there's another fragrance similar to this. I reviewed it. I'll show you. I'll leave a link below. I think Zino Davidoff is good. This is good. And there's one more. I forgot the name of that perfume. I have it somewhere. Uh, kind of like they have the similar vibe. Okay. So if you like old school perfume, old school style, don't want to break your bank. Excellent choice for a fragrance, for a gentleman. Uh, I would say go to work professionally approved and i also think this is a good for say occasions you know you have ceremonies you want to suit up uh, this fragrance will cover that board meeting uh, you know a little bit of serious affair this is very masculine okay but if you don't like uh, <laughs> downside is if you do not like old school style perfume this perfume may be a little bit much for you okay it's not a must have i would say but people like us i'm right now gonna be 41 to me this is precious uh, perhaps you can collect it if your dad used it if for memory's sake you can get it it's not super expensive not gonna break your bank once in a while weekend time this one and rakar noir i wear okay so overall uh, you can see the priceless you know the feeling is priceless even though this is not as good as some of my collections i have nowadays sorry i have many other perfumes definitely way better than this but the feeling you know sentiments you cannot put a price tag on the sentiment so i'm not going to rate it it's a classic absolute classic brute prestige but just make sure you find an original one okay uh, it's a classic all right have a nice day thanks for watching i'll see you soon i'll go upload this Ta -ta.